In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying complex numbers. Now, let's just recall that i is equal to the square root of minus 1. So the question here is, what would we get for i squared? So i squared, well, that would simply be i times by i. So if i is equal to the square root of minus 1, we get the square root of minus 1 times the square root of minus 1. And this should hopefully be quite nice and straightforward. In this case, all I'm going to simply get is minus 1. So i squared is equal to minus 1. So now let's consider i cubed. So i cubed would be given by taking i squared and times it by i. So if i squared is minus 1, then i cubed is minus 1 times i, giving us minus i. So let's keep going up in powers here and see if we can spot a pattern. So i to the 4, we take this minus i here, i cubed, and we times it by i. So minus i times by i, well in that case what I'm going to get here is minus i squared, but remember i squared is minus 1, so what I get here is minus minus 1 giving me positive 1, okay? So now let's take this value here for i to the 4, this 1, and again let's find i to the 5, so i to the 5, so we take i to the 4 times by i again, so i to the 4 is 1, we times it by i, and in this case, what we simply get is i. So let's just keep going, and hopefully this pattern should be emerging now. So i to the 6. In that case, we take this i here, and we times it by i again. Okay, so we times it by i again. So what I'd get here then, in this case, would be i squared, and we know i squared is minus 1. So that give me i squared, which is equal to minus 1 i to the 7, we take this minus 1 here, we times it by i, we get minus i, and then similarly we keep going here and hopefully you can spot what's going to happen for i to the 8, we're just simply going to get what we got for i to the 4, which was 1, okay? So that kind of shows the pattern that we get with working with powers of i. Now, it's important to say that working with large powers of i is quite straightforward by just manipulating the rules of indices. And we're going to see that with a couple of examples as we work through um, our examples and our problem questions together. So let's take a look now at just multiplying complex numbers. Hopefully you'll find this quite straightforward. So the first example here just simply says write down the value of i to the 42. And like I said, this just basically works using the rules of indices. Now, we know i is equal to the square root of minus 1 and i squared is equal to minus 1. So typically what's easiest to do here is just to work with this base of i squared and then raise this to the, the correct power to get to this power here. So what I mean by that is using rules of indices we can write this as i squared and then we raise this power of 2 here to another power such that it's equal to 42. So remember we multiply here when we raise this to another power. So basically what do I times 2 by? to get to 42. Well, in that case, that would simply be 21. Well, in this case then, i squared we know is minus 1. So what I've actually got here is minus 1 to the power of 21. And because I've got this negative base here to the power of an odd number, then what my result will be will simply be minus 1. If that was 20, so an even number, then it would be um, positive 1 there, okay? So like you can see, it's really easy. We're not expected to sit there and keep going all the way through till we get to the power of 42. We can just simply manipulate using the rules of indices. Now, when we're multiplying like this, where we have a number on the outside, and then just a single bracket like this, straightforward, just treat this like you would with expanding a single bracket. So what I do is I take this 3, and we times it by 2, and I take the 3, and I times it by minus 3i. So 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times minus 3i gives me minus 9i there. And like you can see then, we've got it in the correct form, a plus bi, question done. And for this final example here, we've got two brackets, so we're expanding double brackets. Now, again, just like when you're expanding just regular double brackets, the process is the same with complex numbers. We just need to be able to work with complex numbers, essentially. So I'm going to expand this using file, but any method that expands double brackets is absolutely fine. So, Using file, 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4i would give me 4i. 3i times 2 would give me 6i. And then we've got 3i times 4i. So 3i times 4i, that would give me 12i squared. So 
we get 12i squared. Now, clearly we want it in this form here, a plus bi. So I've got my, my 2, my 4i, my 6i. This 12i squared is going to cause a problem. So we need to simplify that, and we can do that using the fact that i squared is equal to minus 1. So what I've got here, essentially, is 12 lots of minus 1. So I'm going to get minus 12 there, okay, this part here. So if we simplify this here, what I'm going to get is 2 plus minus 12. So minus 12 um, plus 2, that's going to give me minus 10. And then we've got 4i plus 6i, so I'll simplify that, we're going to get 10i. So we get minus 10 plus 10i. And there we have it. So like you can see, expandable brackets with complex numbers, nothing too crazy. We just need to be aware that i squared is equal to minus 1. So let's take a look now at a few practice questions. So it's your turn, so pause the video now, have a quick go, and then we'll take a look in a moment at what you should have got. So hopefully you've gotten okay with these practice questions. Let's take a look now at what you should have got. So for the first one here, again, we're working with large powers of i. So i to the power of 300. So again, we're not expected to sit here and keep going until we get to a power of 300. You'd be here all day. So the way we do this is just to manipulate the powers using our rules of indices. So again, we take this base here as i squared, okay? Because we know i squared is equal to minus 1. So i squared... Now we need to raise this power here to another power such that the product is equal to 300. So what do I times 2 by to get to 300? Well, that will clearly be 150. So 2 times 150 gives me 300. We know i squared is minus 1. So what I've got here is minus 1 to the power of 150. And what I've got now is a negative base to an even power. So because my power is even, what I'm going to get here is positive 1 there. Okay. And that's simply what we get for the value of i to the 300. Here again now, so we're just expanding this single bracket here with this number on the outside. So again, we just do 2 times it by 5, and then do 2 times positive i. So 2 times 5 gives me 10. 2 times positive i would simply give me plus 2i there. And again, we've got it in the correct format, so happy days. And then for this final problem here, again, you're just expanding double brackets. Um, where we've got complex numbers involved. So again, I'm just going to use FOIL, but any method that allows you to expand double brackets is absolutely fine here. So I'm going to do 4 times 1, so that will give me 4. We then do 4 times 2i, so that would give me positive 8i, or plus 8i. We've then got minus i times 1, so that would give me minus i. And then finally here, we've got minus i times positive 2i. So just be careful here. This will give us minus 2i squared. So that's going to be minus 2i squared. So again, just be very careful with signs here. I've got minus 2i squared. Now we know i squared is minus 1. Okay, we state that up here as well. So if I've got minus 2 lots of i squared, then that's the same as minus 2 lots of minus 1. And minus 2 lots of minus 1, that would give me positive 2 there. Okay, so in that case, I've got 4 plus 2. Remember, this works out as positive 2. So 4 plus 2 gives me 6. And then ai minus i gives me plus 7i there. Okay, so let's just double check we haven't made a mistake. 4 ai minus i, perfect. And then minus 2i squared, good. And like I said, just simplifying all this gives us 6 plus 7i there. Okay. And there we have it. So that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the complex conjugate.